Georgiana hid a yawn behind her gloved hand. She shouldn't be so bored. She should be gazing adoringly at the young man who'd approached her and her mother during their walk in the park, and who was now gushing effusively about the lovely weather. But it had been a long season. She was exhausted. Thank God it would soon be over. Georgiana twisted a smile onto her face as the gentleman turned to her, beaming. What was his name? Mr. Walsley, maybe? She truly couldn't remember. The many faces of the bachelors who'd expressed interest in her this season had begun to merge together into one fortune-hunting facade. They were all the same. She continued to parade through the marriage mart year after year in the hopes that one day she might find someone different. But it was hopeless. When it came to Georgiana Milford, the only thing men were interested in was her inheritance. Not one of the potential husbands she'd met had ever tried to pry beneath the glittering surface of the richest heiress in England. What do you think, Miss Milford? Mr. Maybe Walsley asked. Oh dear, she hadn't been listening. She turned to her mother. What do you think, Mamma? she asked, cranking her smile up another ten degrees. Maybe she'd never find someone to spend her life with. Honestly, that would be far better than giving away her inheritance to someone who would thrust her aside once he had his hands on her fortune. I don't believe it will rain again, Mr. Webley, her mother said. That spot of rain this morning was exactly what we all needed. But I dare say those clouds will just blow past and our day will continue to be exquisite. Oh, right. Webley. That was his name. Regret flushed through Georgiana. It wasn't his fault she hadn't remembered. But the way he looked at her, she knew that greedy expression. She'd seen it too many times not to be able to decipher it. He was exactly like the rest of them. I do hope you're correct, Mrs Milford. Oh, Eliza, is that you? Someone called in a high-pitched sing-song voice. Georgiana looked past Mr Webley to see a knot of older ladies huddled farther down the path. One of them was waving at them, gesturing at Georgiana's mother. Thankfully, that was Webley's cue to go. He bowed to them both, wished them a good afternoon, and took his leave. As he strode off, Mamma murmured, Well, what did you think? Georgiana gave a careless shrug. Oh, Gigi, her mother sighed. I think he was lovely, very kind and attentive, and handsome to boot. Was he? Georgiana frowned. I didn't notice.